They planned for this, now it's happening. An indigenous-led COVID rapid response team, the first of its kind, dealing with a cluster in Manitoba's north, testing the entire community of York Factory First Nation. A five to seven day turnaround right now for those testing before we look at even any reopening plans for the school especially so. Chief Leroy Constant says a band member became infected while in Winnipeg for a medical appointment, then infected her family, who have had at least 65 community contacts. And this is a good example of how easily it can be picked up and how contagious it is. Led by the University of Manitoba's Ongamuzin Indigenous Health Institute, a doctor, three nurses and two therapists are conducting testing while the community locks itself down. It's the first time that this uh, uh, intervention has been done. Drastic measures to prevent a much bigger spread, says Dr. Barry Lavely. Where there's no place uh, to isolate safely or comfortably. Throughout the pandemic, there have been 683 positive cases on First Nations with 12 deaths. 120 cases are currently active. Overall, the test positivity rate remains below the Canadian average. We'll continue monitoring the situation quite closely. Thank you. The Indigenous Services Minister says situations like in York Factory are worrisome as a second wave looms. $2.2 billion has been allotted to deal with COVID in First Nations, including initiatives like the Rapid Response Team. Meanwhile, other communities already closed off are shutting down further. Manitoba's Pimichikamak Cree Nation is restricting all travel. We are trying to manage uh, how people are coming in and going in our community. So right now we had the complete lockdown. People uh, have to abide by the rules that we're we're putting in place so just to keep the community safe. Still, leaders concede that's coming at a great emotional cost. The pressure and isolation many First Nations are feeling is leading to a COVID-induced mental health epidemic. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.